Hello everyone, this is What's Up. I thought my part 6 video was going to be the last one, but uh, this is going to be pulsing coils and lighting LEDs part 7. I had a few other things to show uh, that were just maybe too interesting to uh, uh, just let pass by. Uh, here you have my six, uh, well, there are nine LEDs per bank, two banks of LEDs. There's 18 LEDs there. Uh, they're being lit by the same setup that I had the last time. I'm going to put the light on here so that I can show you what's going on around here. Uh, let's pull out. Okay. Uh, here we have my coil again. That's the lamp wire that's just turned around again. Same thing. One side of the lamp wire is right here. It's not going anywhere. I just skinned one side so that I know which side is which. Which one of the conductors is one conductor and then the other conductor, which I will show you soon. Uh, right now, the LED is just connected to these jumper cable, jumper, uh, jumper clips that I just put two of them in series, wound them around, connected it up to the LED, and I'm pulsing this at 11.5 uh, megahertz, 50% duty, 16.5 volts, amperage. We'll talk about that very soon. I I did some uh, I did some measurements and I put some uh, some uh, multimeter and the scope and everything on this so that I can show you a little more. Okay, so here we have the uh, coil itself coming around underneath that winding underneath the clip winding I put a two turns of this very heavy uh, battery cable wire which I'm going to be using uh, very soon in the demonstration but for right now what you can see here is those LEDs are lighting up pretty nicely so we'll put the light back on now the pulsing is happening exactly the same way you have actually what I did was here here's my pulse generator and this time there's my pulse generator the cable comes out I turned it around so you can see the whole cable coming in here is a, a scope probe this is the negative it's not being used this is the positive pulse it's going into the positive lead of my multimeter the multimeter cables are all also turned in, in, in a coil so that you can see the complete thing. Right now I am showing 9.3 microamps. That's the pulse is coming in on the red side, positive side. The negative side is coming in and going to one wire of the coil. Just one wire. Right in the middle of the loop of this loop here right behind here you can see where the alligator clips are sorry my light can't reach that far it's on a, it's on a, a flexi thing and I put another probe right there for the oscilloscope so I have one oscilloscope here a probe here that's B and this is channel A right there both of these probes are at 10x also is when I uh, put the second cable in uh, how did I do this it was just like this like this and like this you can see the, the LEDs And now I'll just play around with the frequency a little bit. If I recall. There you go. Look at that. That's 7.58 megahertz. All I did was just add that cable in series with the alligator clip cables retune the frequency and uh, here is the scope here you go 
Okay. That's the scope. The top one is the pulse, the feed pulse. The bottom one is the uh, channel B, which is going to the uh, uh, going to the LEDs. The uh, scale on this is five volts on each side, and I'm going to have to just uh, turn on the light one second to tell you here we are at one US is the time divider. One US, uh, US or uh, I don't know what that is. That's uh, microseconds, probably. Uh, just goes to show how much I know about my oscilloscope. <laughs> but the voltages are at 5 each, and the time divider is at 1 US. And you can see the scale here, and uh, if I'm going to work on the pulse, on, on the pulse frequency, you can see it just changes around. So this here is what I wanted to show you, but then let's just take it a step further with something else I found out. These LEDs, okay, here I have, right over there, I have a battery. Actually, I have two batteries. They're not being used right now. I have my voltmeter that's on there, 12.6 volts. Oh, by the way, now... Uh, lit up like this, the amperage went up to 28.4 microamps, uh, minus 28.4 microamps. I don't know why I'm getting that minus. Uh, I'm at 18.19 megahertz. Okay, that battery, that battery has 12.6 volts in it. I got that yellow lead coming out, and that yellow lead is on the negative of the battery so it's not really connected to the battery completely and I'm going to connect it to the other wire it's right here the yellow clip to the wire that's going to my coil that's not being used so here I'm going to connect it and now Let's just get this back on here. I'm just going to readjust the frequency. Look at that. Look at how bright that is. Let me turn off the lights. I'm actually getting some heat on this. Believe it or not, it's getting a little a bit warm. And all I did was connected that negative lead from a battery that had the positives not going anywhere. Just a negative lead to give that other side of the loop some potential. And the thing just lit up. Uh, if I take it off, since I'm at a new frequency, it'll go off right away. If I put it back on, it'll go back on right away. So, and uh, the amperage at that level, at that, is 20.5 microamps. I'm going to turn this voltmeter back on, it went off. Uh, 20.6. So there it is. There's something to be done with this. These are totally independent lines. They're not continued. There's no continuity in this. Where's the continuity? There is no continuity. And I'm getting energy that's coming out of this like I just can't, I can't figure it out. And I'm just thinking in the SMTPUs when he mentions one line with uh, uh, DC and the other line with AC as a bias. Uh, this just might be what he was talking about. Pulsing one line, the other line getting just a bias and then your outer coil is picking it up and we can see it right here. I haven't put any capacitors on this yet to try and you know diode capacitors and trying to increase energy or whatever. I haven't done anything like that. This is just preliminary stuff and we'll just keep on going. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.